Welcome to Donaldson Clean Solutions webinar, Choosing the Right Filter. I'm Jim Peterson, Hydraulic Sales Manager at Donaldson, and this is the seventh in our series of webinars that can be found at mycleandiesel.com or on YouTube. I'm very pleased that you've taken the time to listen to this 15-minute webinar, and I hope you find it to be both interesting and informational. As those of you who have joined us for previous webinars have hopefully noticed, the focus of these webinars really comes back to three main points. What is clean diesel? Why do I need clean diesel? How can I get clean diesel? Getting clean diesel is the overarching topic of today's webinar, highlighting some important considerations in picking the correct filter system. While we always hope you will choose a blue Donaldson filter, that really isn't the point of today's discussion. Regardless of the filter system you consider and ultimately go with, there are some vital traits that you need to weigh. But since Donaldson pays my salary, I have to mention that we really do manufacture game-changing filters that will ensure you have the clean diesel you need to achieve more. We're going to cover several important questions, and at the end of the webinar, I will talk about how a clean diesel audit will help prepare you to answer many of these questions. To keep your fuel clean and dry, there are a lot of factors to consider and paths you might take. Inlet filtration, outlet filtration, more efficient filtration, jobber expectations, and so on. But, no matter what filter choice you ultimately make, how your filtration system performs, and how it impacts your operations and your bottom line, will come down to three main characteristics. Efficiency, capacity, and pressure drop. Efficiency is how well the filter does its job, how well it does what it's supposed to do, which is remove contaminant from your diesel fuel. Efficiency directly impacts equipment life and performance. The more dirt that makes it through a filter, the shorter equipment life will be. This has a direct impact on how long the equipment will run at peak performance, or at all. Capacity, simply put, is filter life. How much dirt or contaminant can the filter hold before it is no longer able to provide adequate flow to the system until the filter is plugged? The longer a filter lasts, the lower your filter spares requirements will be. Pressure drop is the resistance to flow that the components of your filter system contribute to. Everything your fuel passes through creates pressure drop in the system, making it just a little more difficult for the diesel to get from the pump to the nozzle. As pressure drop increases, so will the time and effort it takes to complete a task. Increased pressure drop will make pumps work harder, will make it take longer to fill equipment. Efficiency, capacity, and pressure drop. Each of these must be considered when designing or making changes to a filter system. It is helpful to use a triangle to visualize these connected characteristics. Just as when you change the length of a side of a triangle, it impacts the other two sides, making a change to one of these filtration characteristics has an impact on the other two. Again, efficiency is how well the filter takes stuff out of your fuel, and many people use a filter's beta ratio or micron rating to ascertain which filter to use, which filter might actually be the one that best meets their needs. Briefly, beta ratios and micron ratings go together to describe how efficient a filter is at stopping a particle of a specific size. And this can be useful information, but it is not the be-all and end-all. More important than knowing the beta ratio or micron rating of your filter is to figure out what your diesel fuel's cleanliness level is and what it needs to be. Your ISO count is a surefire way to determine how much particulate is in your diesel fuel and how big it is. Defining an ISO count is beyond the scope of this webinar, but detailed information about ISO counts and how they can be applied can be found at mycleandiesel.com. But the easy key I'd like you to remember is this. The lower your ISO count, the cleaner your diesel fuel is. Really, reducing the ISO count or getting the fuel cleaner is the actual work a filter does. There really isn't a relevant modern definition of when fuel is clean for all people. It is something that you will need to decide on based on your equipment needs, your spares needs, your fuel infrastructure, 
and so on. So, the challenge we all run into when determining which filter to use is this. Do I care what the filter's micron rating and beta ratio are? Or do I care more about the fuel's ISO count? A good way to think about it is this. A beta ratio is one way to compare one filter versus another. But an ISO count actually answers the question, how clean is your fuel? And that is the vital question you need to ask when choosing a fuel filter. Will it get my fuel clean enough for my engine? So, let's get to it. Slap the most efficient filter possible on my system and let's get going. Let's get the brick wall of filtration in there and stop all the particles we can. The more we stop, the better, right? Not so fast. Remember that efficiency is just one side of the filtration triangle. Variations in the efficiency of your filter will have an impact on both the life of the filter as well as the pressure drop of the filtration system. And the impact you will most likely notice, the one your maintenance personnel, your fuel supplier, your filter buyer will scream about the most, will be the impact on capacity. As we talked about earlier, capacity is, simply put, filter life. Many customers, understandably, want to know how long their filter will last. And this is important, to properly plan inventory, plan filter services and staffing requirements, it's really important to understand how long your filter will last. But it can be tricky to predict filter life. When someone asks me, how long will my filter last, my initial response is often, well, how clean is your fuel today? And how clean is the fuel you will buy next week, next month, or next year? Fuel cleanliness and condition are significant factors in predicting filter life. Weather, pump performance, unknown chemistry, these all have a significant impact on filter life as well. The good news is, if we have an idea of the cleanliness and filterability of your fuel, we can give you a pretty good idea of how long the filters will last under normal conditions. If you do have an unforeseen fuel problem, filter life may suffer. But it's important to contrast having short filter life at your bulk storage tank with the costs of having a fuel problem that can have, give you short filter life on your equipment or worse, damage your equipment permanently. I'd like to take a minute to discuss dirt holding capacity. The question is often raised, what is the dirt holding capacity of your filters? And this is a common question asked by customers who are trying to discern the difference between competing filters. The problem is, by itself, dirt holding capacity doesn't really tell you a whole heck of a lot. Donaldson continues to stress the balance of efficiency through your ISO cleanliness level, capacity, and pressure drop when assessing filtration systems. There are a couple of issues to keep in mind when evaluating the dirt holding capacity of filters. First, many factors affect the capacity of a filter. Flow, viscosity, system pressure, contaminant properties. A discrepancy in any of these variables will impact capacity. And another factor goes back to the true purpose of a filter. The best filters capture the smallest particles. By mass, these may not add a lot to the weight of the contamination, but these particles occur in very high numbers, and when captured, they will add to the pressure drop of the filter. In other words, one way to increase capacity is to decrease efficiency. The good news is, Donaldson's Clean Solutions unique filter media construction delivers both industry-leading efficiency and excellent capacity. Typically, Donaldson does not provide dirt holding capacity information about our filters. There's simply too many variables to give this characteristic much value to the customer. So, our goal is to make the fuel as clean as necessary with proper efficiency while having the filters last as long as possible, maximizing capacity. The challenge is, as efficiency fluctuates, all other things being equal, Filter life will fluctuate with it. The cleaner I make my fuel, the shorter the filter life typically I will have. This means to achieve the fuel cleanliness you need, as well as the filter life you desire, 
you might need to add capacity. Typically, adding additional filters is the easiest way to do this. You might be able to go to a bigger filter depending on the space available and the options, but often at a bulk storage tank where we have lots of space, we can add additional filters and every time we add more filters, we're going to get longer filter life. So the important question that you need to ask is, how much capacity do I need to meet my filter life goals while getting clean fuel? Pressure drop is the resistance to flow that the components of your filter system add, and it is inevitable. A brand new system with brand new filters will have some pressure drop. As the filters plug, their pressure drop will increase. Eventually, the pressure drop across the filters will be more than the pump can easily overcome and the flow will begin to slow. In fact, this is the easiest way to tell if your filters need to be changed. Someone will complain that the flow has been reduced. So, if pressure drop is inevitable, what steps can we take to minimize it and its impact on filter life? Using an adequate pump will be a big help in minimizing pressure drop and flow loss issues. Diesel fuel is very thin, almost like water, so it doesn't take a lot of pressure to pump it in low flow rates over short distances. So many people have older, inexpensive pumps that do the trick. The problem can be, these pumps just don't have the juice to overcome even the minimal pressure drop added with a new filtration system. So. One good way to maximize filter life is to spend some money on a new pump that can provide the pressure needed to ensure you get the most out of a filtration system. You should communicate with your fuel supplier anytime you add inlet filtration to your bulk storage tank. Different delivery trucks will have pumps of various pressures and states of repair. It may not be evident if the pump is having problems when it empties straight into a tank, but adding even a small amount of pressure drop can quickly cause these pumps to back up. All of a sudden, instead of filling a tank in 45 minutes, the job takes 90. In that case, you have a couple of options. Take the filters out and continue to pump fuel that may not be clean enough, or spend some money and upgrade the pump. Another thing is to make sure that you have enough filter to handle the flow rate of the pump. If you try and pump too much fuel through too small a filter, you will have higher than necessary pressure drop and it will impact filter life. Adding additional filters is generally a good idea. It will lower flow rates per filter, which lowers the pressure drop. It also increases capacity. If you have more filters, they will last longer. As you consider what filters to use, consider this. Is my infrastructure adequate to get my fuel clean enough? We've discussed some of the pertinent questions you need to consider when selecting the most appropriate filter for your bulk application. The point really is, there's not one overarching answer for every scenario. Everyone's fuel infrastructure, handling practices, fuel quality, they're all different. What we want is for you to understand that each of the main filtration characteristics impacts the other two. The importance you attach to each of these characteristics is up to you. For example, are you willing to sacrifice filter life to increase efficiency and fuel cleanliness? Is it okay to have shorter filter life to make sure you're putting the cleanest possible fuel into your vehicle, into your equipment, into your fuel injector? How to anticipate, measure, and minimize the impacts of these decisions? That's where we come in. Having a fuel audit performed by a trained Donaldson field engineer can help you understand where you are today and give you as many options as possible to make sure your fuel is as clean as it needs to be and your filters last as long as possible. Thank you again for taking the time to join us for this webinar today. And thanks to all of you who are taking advantage of MyCleanDiesel.com and have connected with us there. It really is a great resource for all things diesel. Please plan on joining us on July 21st and 22nd for our next webinar. In the meantime, if you have any questions or would like Donaldson to perform a free audit to help determine how Clean Diesel can help you achieve more, please contact us at any time at MyCleanDiesel.com.